You know, I talk about the cephalic phase insulin response mm -hmm. a lot. And I think mm -hmm. uh, uh, now Dr. Bickman will know exactly what I'm, what I'm drawing on the screen. This is a normal distribution curve, right? And I, it's my opinion that in some people, the cephalic phase insulin response to even uh, non-caloric sweeteners in some people is, is, is higher than in others. Now, a lot of people say there's no such thing as the cephalic phase insulin response. I think the, recent, the literature makes it pretty clear that there in is. all mammals, there is there a is. cephalic phase mm -hmm. insulin response, not only just to the taste of sweet things, but if you see or smell food, it's going to raise your insulin to some degree. So let's uh, break that down from a physiological yep. standpoint. Is the cephalic phase insulin response to a non-nutritive sweetener, it should, is that something we should worry about? Is that something some people should worry about? Is that something no one should worry about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I even had a section on this in my book, um, uh, just really trying to elaborate this, that there's no question there's such a thing as the cephalic phase um, when I, so when I talked about the, the kind of breakdown of those calories uh, or the sweeteners that I mentioned earlier, um, a lot of it is if there is a cephalic phase and that's sort of reflective of the comment I made earlier where we are kind of tricking the body. And, and the worry is where I said, if you eat uh, uh, this, this sweetener, non-caloric or low calorie sweetener that does, uh, that, uh, if you can stop with that, then it's fine. If you eat that and it starts to drive you to want to eat something else, then you are probably a person who does elicit a cephalic phase for whatever reason. But if you've had an insulin response that little, even if it's a small one, the insulin is going to signal to the body to start pulling in energy. And so the total availability of energy in the blood will go down a little bit in the form of lower glucose, lower free fatty acids, lower ketones. And the brain who has no ability to store its own energy will sense this and panic a little bit and say, hey, we're getting low energy. We need to bring something in. So the kind of poor man's method of knowing whether you are a person who does have a cephalic phase, which is a real thing, um, but isn't common with those sweeteners, but not impossible. If you drink a Diet Coke or whatever, and or for me, it'd be a Diet Dr. Pepper, and you feel like you're really hungry after, then you probably had some sort of cephalic phase release, as modest as it may be, um, but insulin's trying to tell the body, hey, we had energy come in. Oh, wait, we didn't. And the brain is left to try to reconcile that a little bit. Now, yeah. usually, if you did feel like you were a little hungry, I'd like to say you can kind of tough that out, give the body a little time, and, and the, cal the nutrients in the blood will go back to where it was. Um, so it should be quite acute, but the cephalic phase is real. The degree to which these sweeteners will affect it, in general, it would be none no effect, but it does, it is a thing. 